Yes, I'm a say. Hungry. Me. Me. Ah, mm. Tasty. Thank you. Good. Good. safe now. <sighs> Time to head on back for the evening. See you in front of Hello Work tomorrow. Hold on. Who's up for a nightcap in the room? Wow, it doesn't take you long to make yourself at home, Adachi-san. This is really nice to see. What is? How you all seem thick as thieves already. Really? It's not like we've known each other that long. Uh, this is just how guys are, Sachan. Now, let's go home. Be careful on your way back. She'll be fine. If someone attacks her, he'll end up in worse shape than she will. <laughs> That's right. I pity the man who messes with me. Me too. Good night. <laughs> hey. Hmm? Forget something? Was I holding something in my purse for you? No, it's not that. I, I was thinking... Look, our place is cramped and kind of dirty, but... But... If you don't mind that sort of thing, you want to come stay with us? Are you sure? Yeah, as long as you don't take one look at it and run out screaming. It is pretty filthy. You're a nice guy, you know that? Me? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. Wait, is this...? Yep. Don't judge too harshly now. 
We get to stay on the second floor in exchange for protecting the place from Bleach Japan. I didn't even know there were places like this in Ijinchu. Haha, <laughs> you finally sweet-talked a girl into coming here? Who's the lucky lady? No, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like that. Not at all. And I'd hardly call anybody invited here lucky. So you're just a friend of these guys? Yeah, I am. I'm betting big on them. You might say my life is a chip in their pile now. That's pretty much our relationship, isn't it? Hmm. Such a... <laughs> well, if you think it's a smart gamble... I certainly do. I hope none of you are out to prove me wrong. I, I mean, we'll sure as hell try not to. What's that thing? Oh, it's a crawfish. But what's it doing out here? You crawl up out of the river? Wouldn't want you getting squished by a car now. Bon voyage, little buddy! Oh, my sweet Nancy! Huh? Oh, my poor girl! <laughs> I don't see her anywhere at all. Crap, don't tell me. That crawfish just now was yours? Yep. Raised her with my own two hands, I did. Her name's Nancy. Normally, we stroll around the neighborhood together and get us some exercise. That sweet little gal was my only beacon of hope in this dark, cruel world. Oh, Nancy! <laughs> Dude, I'm so sorry. If I knew she was important to you, I never would have done that. I understand. You did it with good intentions. Besides, it's my fault for taking my eyes off her. Well, I don't see her anywhere. Unfortunate as it is, she's probably gone for good. But don't dwell too much on it. I'm just another nobody. Hold on there, old timer. I'll go find Nancy and bring her back. They'll eat me up inside if I don't. Huh? Why, well, that's certainly generous of you. But can you really find her? Well, I can give it a shot. 
Gee, thanks. I'll leave you to it then. Oh, and I'm Ebihara. I call these streets my home. If you do get hold of Nancy, uh, could you come find me along Sakura River Street? That's my usual spot. Of course. And I'm Kasuga. I'll be back with Nancy in no time. One thing I should tell you is Nancy has an X-shaped scar on her back. Uh, that help? An X-shape on her back. Yeah, thanks. Hopefully she hasn't gone far. If I'm lucky, I'll find her downstream. to hustle. I 
feel the stats going up. <laughs> Look at me go. With finesse. Hate when the garbage piles up. It attracts all the crows. Uh, don't hate the crows. They're just trying to get by, you know? In fact, crows are pretty smart. They've even been known to stop rummaging through trash if they see they're being watched. Huh, interesting. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you have a soft spot for them. Well, what can I say? We're birds of a feather when it comes to digging through the trash. <laughs> Guess everyone has a flock. It's hot, so be careful. Oh, a soup kitchen for the homeless. Real thankful for stuff like this. Hey, you! This place is for people in need. Huh? Look, buddy, I'm not here for a bite to eat. Don't play dumb with me. I saw you eyeing the soup. <laughs> Hold up, I told you, you got the wrong idea, all right? Terracotta-san, just leave it be. I know you're hungry, but there's no need to get uppity at folks. Now why don't we go get back in line? You've gone too damn soft. The soup kitchen's all we got. Hey, calm down. Ugh. This is all your fault, fuckwit. Oh, look out! You okay? Stupid son of a bitch. I got you this time. I'm ready. Right. Go. Uh... 
すみませんでした。おお。Go. ありがとうございます。
Time to clean up! With finesse.
らっしゃいませ Ichiban, wanna grab a drink with me? Sure, but you really know how to knock him back, Sachan. Promise me you'll keep it to one or two. Oh, come on. It's no big deal if we drink more than that. It's not like I'm gonna make a move on ya. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. So, hey, you're technically still a mama at a hostess club, right? Yeah, but I didn't found the place. I was promoted to mama after Nonomiya saw that I was the best hostess there. <laughs> if you're that good a hostess, you'll be bored drinking with me. I ain't much for clever conversation. Don't be so hard on yourself. It takes practice. I definitely wasn't a natural at it. But neither of us is looking for tips right now, so who cares? <laughs> okay. So what's happening with the club now? Still going strong, even without Nonomiya? I've got the girls holding down the fort. They should be fine, barring any earthquakes. Or ex-boyfriends. Oh, pretty impressive that you trust your staff to run the whole joint. They know the basics of the business. I'm the kind of mama who teaches her youngsters well. If you do say so yourself. <laughs> well, I do. But of course, it was that desire to educate that caused all the drama in my family. Was that all the stuff with Nanoha and your dad that you mentioned before? Yeah. Well, at least things have simmered down among us recently. Thanks to you guys. My dad's in a real nursing home now, and Nanoha's looking for a more legit job, like she had before. So you call them pretty often? Oh, 
No. Never. I just have my hostesses secretly check in on them every now and then. Nanoha doesn't want to see me. She'd be furious. Why? You two really can't get along? That's an understatement. I haven't seen her in seven years. I do call her up sometimes, but she never wants to meet in person. I'd like to, though, and I tell her that. She turns me down every time. <laughs> Guess I have no one to blame but myself, really. I'm listening. It's a boring story. You sure you want to hear it? That's right, you do. I don't care if it's so boring it puts history professors to sleep. As long as it's from you, I'm all ears. So I have your express permission to rant for the next ten hours, and you'll sit here and listen? Hell yeah. <laughs> well, that's sweet of you. Thanks. Uh, so, go ahead. How come you don't get along with Nanoha? Well, I think it's because I was just too controlling. I always had something to say about everything she did. My mom was sick throughout our whole childhood, so I felt like I had to take care of my shy little sister. Little sister? But you're the same age, unless there's a new kind of twin I don't know about. Of course we're the same age. Her personality just always made her seem younger. She was so timid. I was the one with the guts, just like mom. It's probably why mom trusted me more than dad. He was closer to Nanoha since she took after him. I gotcha. Dad wasn't earning much from the little company he ran back then. I tried to help him out by getting a part-time job in high school. Didn't take me long to figure out nightlife entertainment was where the real money was. Pretty soon I was essentially the breadwinner of the family. And after mom died, even more so. All I wanted was for Nanoha to get into a good college and live an honest life. But you think that came off as controlling to her? Yeah. I told her which college to go to. Insisted she become some sort of white-collar professional. But the straw that really broke the camel's back was me chiming in about her new boyfriend. I listed every red flag I could possibly think of, then I asked her if the dude raised any of them. What, like, you made a physical list? <laughs> yeah. Stuff like... Being dirty, acting douchey at restaurants, condescending towards women, always name-dropping. There were a lot. I went too far, honestly. But you know what? The bastard did fit a lot of them. She was like, oh, but he's getting it together. He's starting a consulting firm. But I told her to dump his ass. I'm betting she didn't like that. No, she did not. She threw stuff, screamed herself hoarse, cried. Even my freaking dad cried seeing all the drama. Oh, jeez. It was that intense? I think it always bothered him that he couldn't make enough money to help my mom. He was embarrassed I made more than he did. I remember, after he found out what my pay was, he just started doing whatever I said. And then all of a sudden, during this fight, he started sobbing about how he should Should have helped Nanoha break free from me. Sounds like he was finally letting out everything he'd bottled up. Yeah. And it turned out Nanoha's boyfriend problem was just the beginning. Because in that moment... I realized... My family was distancing themselves from me. Sachan. It was, um... Seven or eight years ago, when I decided to leave home and just focus on work. Imagine how it felt when Nonomiya called and told me about this new family trouble. How Nanoha chose to work at a soap land instead of asking me for help. I was shocked. I really was. And just in case it ever comes up, we're all supposed to pretend you don't know she was working at Otohime land, right? Knowing my sister, she'd die of embarrassment if she found out I know. Well, then the charade must go on. Oh, <laughs> I think I had one too many after all. I didn't plan on talking for so long. But 
Thanks for getting a drink with me, Ichiban. Everyone's going through something. Having a friend to talk to just makes it a little easier. Oh yeah, I never formally introduced myself. I'm Iroha Yanagi. I'm helping out at the bar. Nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Did he hire you to chat with the customers? Yep. I pull my weight around here. If your glass is empty, just give me a holler. I'll get you squared. Or if you just want to chat, I'm all ears. The customers who got to know me at my old bar actually used to call me Good Ear Iroha. So whenever you need an ear, I'm here to listen. Uh, sure, but what would I even tell you? I never got to come to these types of bars much. Whatever you want, really. You could even tell me about your dumb arguments with Adachi-san. <laughs> You'd really want to hear that? Of course. I love hearing about the little stuff that makes people better friends. So, no subject too dull, no topic off limits, okay? Hey, Namba. You good? Oh, Ichiban. Perfect timing. Guess you could already tell, but yeah. I've gotta get something off my chest. You got a sec? Long as you promise it'll be a two-way street. What do you mean? I mean, you've gotta let me weigh in. Not just sit here like a wall. <sighs> I doubt you're gonna want to get involved. Moron, I'm already involved. Real friends get in each other's shit. <laughs> I guess that makes us real friends then for sure. Right? <laughs> so, enough stalling. Spit it out. 
Promise you won't tell a soul? Yeah, cross my heart. Okay, so... Last night I had a hankering for a nightcap, so I dragged my ass down here. But it was late, the bartender wasn't around. And so I'm sitting here all by myself. Then I start thinking, what would be the harm in helping myself to a small pour? Just a shot, really. Figured I could pay it back later, you know? That's when I see it. An unopened legend malt. Shining in the dark like it had my name on it. What's a legend malt? A super high-end whiskey. The king of kings. One glass is at least ten grand. Get out of here! I know, right? I couldn't dream of buying a shot, much less a glass. But I figured a drop would be okay. They don't exactly sell it by the drop, dude. Well, you're right. But I took one anyway, because who was gonna stop me? I poured just a drop onto my hand. And when that sweet honey touched my tongue, I went straight to heaven. It was that good? Best whiskey I've ever had in my life. A taste that I felt through my whole body. A fruity aroma that I can still smell if I try. I'm telling you, it was pure magic. All my cares just melted away. It's really that good? They don't call it the legend for nothing, huh? Yep. Packs a legendary punch, too. Next thing I know, I'm staring down an empty bottle. Wait... Don't tell me you... drank it all? I did. Guess I blacked out or something. But the fact remains, I downed at least a hundred grand worth of whiskey. What'd the bartender say? Well, you think I actually told him? What's he gonna do, hand me a bill that'll never get paid? What I did instead was I found the nearest mini-mart, grabbed the cheapest whiskey I could find, and replaced it. Wait, so the whiskey in the Legend Malt bottle right now is... Horse piss. To the brim. Dude, someone's gonna find out eventually, you know? I know, why do you think I'm so stressed out? So come on, Cusco, what would you do if you were me? Uh, if it were me, I'd... Well, it's not like you can return it. What's done is done, you know? And if I get caught, I just pull something out of my ass. Huh. <laughs> well, it must be nice to have that kind of confidence. I could see that working for you. Yeah, man. No point crying over spilled whiskey. Either way, I can't just ignore what I did. I'm practically a thief now. Yeah, but if you're gonna steal, at least you made it legendary, right? I say, you gotta stay cool. See what happens. Yeah. And maybe you're right. Well, if it isn't my two favorite vagabonds, why are you two not drinking? Uh, we were just figuring out some life stuff. Without me? <laughs> At least you saved me a seat. Yeah, uh, of course we did. Shall we? I'm in the mood for something special today. And I know this place has some killer whiskey. Uh, you want whiskey? Yeah. There a problem? Not exactly a problem. Good. I was thinking we could do something fancy for once. You don't mean... Bartender, I'll take a 12-year-old silver malt on the rocks. You sure? It's 1,500 yen a glass. <laughs> what? A girl can't reward herself every now and again? Oh, thank God. We're gonna shit our pants every time someone orders a whiskey now, aren't we? No doubt about that. Hachi-san, either I need my eyes checked or you actually bought a drink from the bar. Hmm? Oh, it's, uh, Miss Just Water. You giving your liver a rest? That's rare for you. 
Nah, it's only because I don't have the money for sake right now. Not even sneaking it in from the convenience store. Damn. You're that broke, huh? I forgot to set aside something for this one big expenditure I have every month. It's... stupid. What expenditure? You in debt or something? Nah, nothing like that. I... I've been sending Takashi money. Oh! Isn't Takashi-kun the son of the guy who was arrested on false charges? Yeah. Kasumi. And he was arrested because I didn't believe Takashi's testimony. Yeah, but you also tried to get Kusumi released, right? Or Nouchi's the one who shot it down. <laughs> Doesn't matter whose fault it is. Nothing will bring Kasumi back from the dead. And you don't know how shitty it got for Takashi. First his dad killed himself, then his mom passed away from grief. Poor kid ended up in an orphanage. Well, ever since then, I've been sending Takashi money every month. Under a fake name, of course. Why a fake name? Because Takashi wouldn't accept money from me. I'm one of the cops who locked up his old man. So I started sending money to him under the pseudonym Yamada. That's a hell of a good deed, Adachi-san. But wouldn't Takashi wonder why the heck some stranger named Yamada-san was sending money? <laughs> oh, I didn't overlook that. See, I played this Yamada-san character as a rich guy with a passion for philanthropy. And it worked. Takashi took the money without thinking twice about it. A passion for philanthropy, huh? Oh shit. I think I feel some tears coming on, man. <laughs> huh? Hey, what's up with you? I just... I never knew how hard you were trying to do the right thing. And you're still doing it, even after you lost your job. Knowing you'll never get credit. Still helping out Takashi-kun. Adachi-san. You're a man among men. <laughs> I, uh... I didn't mean to yank on your heartstrings so much. Seriously, man, doing that for 20 years is freaking amazing. I just figured it was the least I could do for the kid. Hmm. That's not how I would describe it. Especially now that you no longer have a job. Well, that's a good point. You know, isn't Takashi-kun all grown up by now? Uh, he's, uh, 25. Don't you think he should be able to stand on his own two feet at this point? Well, except now he's prepping for law school, so... Oh yeah? He wants to be a lawyer? Yep. Another blood-sucking lawyer. <laughs> nah, but maybe it won't corrupt him that much. I mean, he's a good kid. You know, he writes me a letter every month and thanks me for the money. But those letters are how I know he's trying to get into law school. Maybe he was inspired to do that because of what happened to his dad. Uh, I wondered the same thing. That's why I thought I'd keep helping him until he passes the bar exam. Well, the bar exam's supposed to be pretty tough, yeah? Yeah. Well, he's been studying his ass off for the exam since college. It hasn't been easy for him. He lives on wages from his part-time job and the money I send him. Doesn't go out or party, just studies. Sure hope he passes then. Yeah. Hopefully he'll manage to do it this year. Hopefully he'll be okay sending him money until then. It's gotta be rough. Well, to tell you the truth, that's a big factor. If he can't support himself soon, I don't think my heart's gonna hold up under the stress of all my stupid money troubles. No kidding. Now it all makes sense why you're broke. No, oh, thanks. Hope you're uh, rooting for me, at least. Yeah, of course I'm rooting for you. Good. Then what do you say to buying me a drink? Oh, <laughs> I walked right into that one. Come on, a clink of the glass would be music to my ears. Fine, fine. <laughs> Not like I can say no after a story like that. Hey, bartender! Can I get in an order?
I'll show you how it's done. I believe I'm gonna make it through and I won't run away. Hope you brought tissues. There are days you'll be weak, there are days you'll be lost There are times where you feel you wanna run and hide There are days you'll be down, and you'll start to wonder if the world would be better off if you died I have those days too, but I believe I believe I'm gonna make it through and I won't run away I won't die I'm gonna level up, be the best that I can be And I'm not gonna stop questing until I'm a hero I'm gonna level up, be the best that I can be I swear that I'll become unstoppable and you'll be right at me I've got to see this through, I can't look back until the end Rise from rock bottom to the future I've seen in my dreams so come on, let's go level up You're a natural, Ichan.